Good morning, everyone, and welcome to yet another Let's Try. Today on the docket, we have a new contender in the local f fast food industry. Freddy's. So, I grew up in Glenwood, Iowa, which is about 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes east of Council Bluffs, which is sort of this, like, suburb of Omaha, Nebraska. And... They call the area the metropolitan area. Basically, you know, I was a bedroom community of a bedroom community. <laughs> uh, and um, growing up there, there were a lot of, like, new developments later in my life, or later in my time in Glenwood, during my high school years. In Counts Bluffs, like, you know, they put in uh, a, an Olive Garden, a Texas Roadhouse. No, not Texas. Longhorn Steakhouse, I think it was called. My sister loved that place. Um, I got the garlic fries there once, and man, my breath stank for days afterward. Um, anyway, but speaking of stink, I got their double stack. Not not stink, but, well, it depends if there's onions on it. Um, sorry, someone's going into their apartment. I thought it was my cousin coming back. Anyway, um, so their double stack burger appears to be a take on the Big Mac, because it's got fry sauce, it's got pickles, no onions, weirdly enough. Um, well, yeah, they got a little X or cross of pickles and tomatoes. Now, again, I don't normally eat pickles, but I want to give it the benefit of the doubt for you guys. Plus, it's not like... That situation with Firehouse Subs where I ate the pickle by itself. Honestly, I probably should have put that in the thing. Eh, you live and you learn. Now, I got this with onion rings and a uh, drink, too. But, or um, a malt. And I was going to eat those on camera, but it was a long, hot drive home. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Also, I just want to say that... This meal was 16 bucks. I could, there's a very nice Chinese buffet near me that I could have gone to and eaten all the sushi and crab rangoon I wanted. So, y'all owe me for this. Uh, maybe I'll highlight that place sometime if they let me. I mean, like, I don't know if I'm, a, I'm allowed to take pictures inside the restaurant. It's a very nice restaurant. It's a very nice buffet. But anyway, Freddy's. Let's give her a taste. Mmm. I love McDonald's and Burger King, but sometimes you forget just how good a burger can be. I love Smash Burgers so much. Uh, they're greasy, they're gooey, they're mm. just very nice. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take into this a little more. Oh. Now, I don't know what the difference is between a steak burger and a regular burger. I'm assuming higher quality cuts of meat, but... That have been ground up, but... I don't know if they, how they can tell that. Do they grind it up themselves? Questions for later. Now, the fried sauce is perfect for this, too. Um, you know, Freddy's fry sauce, I think it's just a mix of, uh, ketchup and mayo, but it's, it works really well with the situation that they've got going on, and just look at that, that is a good crumb, I guess you'd call it, and I, I love a well-done burger, too. I, I like my burger to be crunchy, I don't like a medium-rare burger. If you like a bloody burger, you're bloody disgusting. Man, the... And the burger flavor here is so good, it's overwhelming the pickles. Like, Freddy's makes a good burger. I 
I'm sorry that I'm just destroying this right now, but it is so good. And it is covered in grease and goop and that was superior it really was um like just imagine the greasiest burger perfectly salted with like really fresh vegetables and that is really good i I am shocked at how good that is. Because, like, that burger, that burger on its own is only a dollar more than a Whopper. It was like $7.12. A Whopper, I think, is like $6.50, I think. So it's less than a dollar more. And you get such higher quality. Um, and it's, like, it's comparable size, too. I don't, I think that, like, the two patties, I think, add up to more than a Whopper. Um, I don't know how they're, how Freddy's does it. They're selling very big burgers for a very equitable price, as it were. Uh, sorry for another short video today. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do to stretch it up. Oh. So it came with a malt, and the first time I ever tried a malt was in late 90s early 2000s i was a little kid and my grandma nancy took me to this place in des moines called the skyline cafe and it was a 50s themed um it was a 50s themed restaurant on the des moines skywalks because to um help with foot traffic in des moines Someone had the bright idea to put a bunch of skywalks in between the buildings. And, um, they built a cafe in one of them. Uh, but he, I was a very paranoid child, and for some reason I got stuck in my head that if I ate there, that somehow I'd get trapped in a time loop and I'd get trapped in the 1950s. You have to remember that this was the a, a young kid who watch shows like So Weird, or Big Wolf on Campus, or Goosebumps. You know, really creepy kid shows. And I probably should have been watching them. I was probably too young to be watching them. You know, five or six. Uh, but man, was, was it, it... Man, did I miss out. I wish I could have gone back and tried it now that I'm not, you know... A paranoid little brat. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. Gonna be it for me today, I think. Um, I'm, I'm having a little debate on what to post this week for my thing, so we'll see about that when we get to it. <sighs> for it propped up. Oh my goodness, I have so much trouble, like, talking about stuff sometimes. I would consider myself a very eloquent person, but the problem is that I screw up so much. Anyway, I gotta get washed up. I am covered in grease. Y'all have a good day. This is Royce Miller, signing out.